In the vast and mysterious web of life, every day we witness a phenomenon that awakens in us a mixture of amazement and tenderness, the omnipresence of cats in the digital world. These felines, regardless of their breed, have become icons of online culture, capturing hearts and accumulating millions of views and likes. However, Behind this universal fascination lies a deeper and more exciting truth, the existence of the Irma, an advanced race of feline beings from the planet Avian, in the star Vega, within the constellation of Lyra. This spiritual and cosmic connection with cats transcends our understanding. The Irma, beings of superior physical evolution and spirituality, have chosen the feline form, maintaining a structure similar to that of terrestrial felines, but with evolved hands, a reflection of their superior intelligence. For millennia, humanity has sensed their presence, often humanizing them in our legends and myths. However, recent revelations provided by the Tejitian team have shed light on their true nature, physical, tangible beings, and not just ethereal energies from another dimension. These cosmic guardians are not far from us. In fact, they are here, orbiting Earth in their Avian One spacecraft, interacting with us not only through cats, but also experiencing human life in human bodies. This deep bond with the Irma reveals a deeper dimension to our relationship with cats, who not only provide us with companionship and comfort, but are also ambassadors for an advanced stellar civilization. With deep gratitude, we present an extraordinary second interview conducted by Marie Swaru, our celestial ambassador of Swarunian origin. Endowed with a wisdom that far exceeds the confines of our earthly understanding, Marie Swaru offers us a unique perspective that brings us closer to the vast and mysterious universe that surrounds us. We now have a window into the mind of a feline Irma, offering us a unique perspective and enriching of these enigmatic beings. Their presence among us is a constant reminder of the vastness of the universe and the possibility of connections that go beyond what we can see and touch an invitation to look at the world and our feline companions with new eyes, full of wonder and meaning. Wonderfully renovated. It is important to note, as revealed in recent videos by Marie Swaru, that the Irma prefer not to be represented with human bodies. Their true essence is deeply feline, with bodies adapted to both move upright and run in the style of terrestrial felines. Amas are basically big cats, as seen on Earth. A cat head with a cat body, as you would expect, and not as often depicted elsewhere, as a human body with a cat head. They are anatomically very similar to lions, tigers, leopards, etc., as seen on Earth, but with some important differences, such as more complex hands with an opposable thumb, some anatomical differences in the shoulders that give them better movement of the arm and changes in the anatomy of their legs and hips that allow them to stand up and walk comfortably on two legs. Although the Irma can still run and fight using all four, like a normal big cat on Earth does, they still have a long spine, suitable for jumping, and short, powerful cat-like legs. He does not refer to other Irma or himself as people, as we do, he refers to them as feline or felines.
His voice is deep as thunder, ending with reverberating purrs or growls, and his speech is slow and controlled. Murray refers to Arishar and in this interview focuses on Irma ethics, concepts, and way of life, so that they can be better understood by the human population. The interview. Hello Ari, how are you? Thank you for allowing me to interview you once more. As the first question, could you please tell our audience how you look and how big you are? Hello Mari, you are quite welcome. I am Ari Shah of Avian Vega. I am one of the felines who work in my King Ships Communication Center. My race is Irma Orange Tiger, in your language, and I'm 10 feet 6 inches tall when on my bare feet, into the tip of my ears, and I weigh 698 pounds. That is, 3 meters 23 centimeters tall, and I weigh 317 kilograms. I want to center this interview on your Irma ethics, concepts, and way of life so they can be better understood by the human population. Many people on Earth think that the Irma people worship a deity called the Cosmic Cat, as their religion. What are your thoughts and perspectives about that? Please. I'm not aware of the concept of the Cosmic Cat. I don't know of any Irma who worships a deity that is human thinking, and in any case, all Irma are Cosmic Cats. I'm unaware of any cosmic cat deity. I don't know what you are talking about. Never mind, thank you. Ari, could you please describe the basic concepts of the ethics the Irma people follow? I would like to know how an Irma thinks, his values, his thought patterns, what makes his mind feline, and how it differs from a human mind. You mentioned the last time you wanted to share those points of view with me and with my public, so please feel free to share all your thoughts. What do Irma felines think? We are direct and transparent. We do not hide the truth nor try to distort it so it is accepted better by anyone else. The truth is set, and it is what it is. And if another being takes it wrongly, or cannot handle it, then it is their problem to fix, not ours. We do not need to hide any truth because we have nothing to fear, we do not know fear, and we are fully conscious of who we are and of our power. We do not manipulate anyone into doing what we want, we ask directly and if the answer is negative and we do not agree, we simply walk away and continue our life without any worries or thoughts about that. We do not overthink that is a very human way of being. Humans tend to overanalyze everything making speculations and acting according to their conclusions, which are mostly wrong, and they act that way mostly out of fear, and always expecting the worst case scenario as they try to prepare for it as a survival mechanism. Humans tend to suffer a lot from their own ideas, and from the speculations they make in their minds with limited data. They suffer much more from the idea they have made their minds about than from what actually happened for real. The ideas they generate are what make humans suffer the most. And Irma thinks differently, we analyze the necessary data when we need to, and we may even draw conclusions from it, but we never suffer from any speculations we make. Humans catastrophize in their minds, they make up complex stories to explain what they do not understand, and what they see as a threat to them, they feel vulnerable and they suffer much from it. And Irma does not fear any hypothetical future as we know that we can face and solve anything life and existence can throw at us. We live in the now, and we enjoy our well-being as it is now, with full confidence that we are untouchable, 
so we see no point in worrying about empty speculations, stories, or negative outcomes and predictions, as we face life fearlessly and with feline confidence. Our fearless way of life and philosophy is at the core of every Irma, as we do not fear anything, we do not manifest any of those fears, and this only makes us stronger and allows us to thrive as individuals and as a species. This fearless philosophy has earned us the status of apex predators and dominant species in this galaxy alone. We love our swords and our weapons, advanced or old, not because we love violence, but because it gives us strength and confidence to face any challenge that we may face. We first solve our personal needs and problems before those of others, and in such a way it could be even seen as a narcissistic way from the human point of view and perspective. We seek our comfort and our interests first. But this is because we know that the only way we can truly help others is when we are in a position of strength, when we have and live with stability in our lives. We can only help others when we have clarity of thought and mind. It is no use to try to help others when our minds are cluttered and unfocused, as that breeds misjudgment and bad decisions. We love ourselves first, as Irma individuals and as a race, we are proud people, never wishing to be anyone other than who we are. We see our culture and the other Irma as extensions of ourselves, so what we do to help others is what we want for us as individuals, when a whole culture sees and acts this way, and adds to our fearlessness and our clarity of thought and ideas, such culture will thrive like no other. It is our mentality to follow who we are, to follow our internal feline guidance, therefore we can never follow the rules and the interests of others, or only if it is in our best interest. As we see all the other felines as extensions of ourselves, we too see other races and people we love as more of ourselves as well. What we love we make ours and we protect it as part of ourselves, not caring if they are feline as well or not. We are extremely loyal people, and our honor as felines is above all. Our word is who we are, and we respect it as we respect ourselves. You must first learn to respect yourself before expecting to be respected by others. You must learn to understand your thoughts and values, ethics and ideas, as to be able to stay truthful to them above anything else. Seek your comfort and your well-being first, and from that point of stability help all others whom you feel the need to, but never to your detriment. Never help if helping hurts you. Follow this rule even when you must make difficult decisions that may end up contradicting what I just said. You must make, you must develop your set of values on your own with clarity of mind, never copy that of others, and stay true to yourself with the utmost truth and integrity. Make others, you love your priority, and from there grow as a unity. The Irma felines see obstacles and hardship as opportunities for growth, to overcome, and to grow. We do not mind pain and discomfort, as we see them as motivation to grow as a species and in pride. Our concept of death is very different from the human one. We do not see death as tragic, nor do we fear it. We face our deaths with our swords in hand, and we embrace our destiny fighting like the apex predators we know we are. We remember many of our past lives, so we know how to die like a true honorable warrior. And we know we will be born again to fight another day. Life is full of conflict and hardship. Face it strongly, fearlessly like a tiger, and overall, Face it with honor, 
and in such a way that you will make your ancestors proud. You will never outrun your problems. They will always catch up with you in this lifetime or in the next, or next. You must face them face forward, with a clear mind and strong determination. Fear is useless. Fear makes you come back to repeat the same problems constantly. Face the suffering of life, face the humiliation, the lack of respect, the pain, feel it, make it part of you, and dissolve it all with your unbreakable integrity, self-respect, fearlessness, and honor. Do not fear pain and hardship as they are the path to your goals. Face them, endure them, make them yours, and be comfortable with suffering. Work towards your goals with feline unbreakable determination and honor. Don't talk about what you are going to do, just do it and shut up. I know many of you feel that you are in prison, your entire life is a prison. And that is the nature of the reality in the earth and its society. But all that is in your mind and in your catastrophizing thoughts and speculations. Dominate your mind fears, emotions, and your ideas, and you will dominate life on Earth. You must grow there on your own, and grow strong, but you must do so in silence, never trusting anyone not close to you, as they are all agents of the system, and what they want is to bring you down to normality. They do not want you to grow, and they want you sick, confused and malnourished, as sick prisoners cannot climb walls. Remember one thing about prison planet Earth, it is mostly run by other prisoners, who obey other prisoners only out of ignorance, confusion and fear, and if enough of them are aware of this, then the entire system will collapse. The Irma felines are emotional beings, but we use our emotions to our advantage, and not to our detriment. Clarity of thought, self-awareness, and respect for our integrity and honor are what allow us to control and use those emotions to our advantage. Be well, be fearless, and be strong. And a big tiger hug. Thank you Ari for your message and your insights. Ari has agreed to send his messages through me and my channel on a regular basis, whenever he wants, so please expect more from Ari in the near future. Thank you for watching my video and for liking and subscribing for more. And I hope to see you here next time. Be very well and take care. With much love. Your friend. Marie Swaru. You are destined to live a full and authentic life, imbued with transparency and sincerity. Remember, embracing your truth is your greatest strength. By doing so, you free yourself from the shadows of deception and manipulation, allowing yourself to be true to yourself and your deepest values. Face life with courage and confidence. You are able to live each present moment without fear, without worrying about what the future may bring you. This bravery is not only reflected in how you face the world, but also in how you take care of yourself. By prioritizing your well-being and stability, you empower not only yourself, but also to offer effective support to those around you. Your emotions are your allies, not your enemies. Accept them, understand them, and use them to your advantage. Self-knowledge and self-respect are the foundation on which you will build a life that reflects your true values and ethics. Resilience is your shield and your sword in the battle of life. Every challenge, every obstacle, is an opportunity to grow, to strengthen yourself. Don't see them as barriers, 
but rather as stepping stones on your path to success and personal fulfillment. Free yourself from the chains of limitations that you have imposed on yourself. Many times, what holds you back are mere constructions of your mind. By mastering your thoughts and fears, you can break these barriers and expand your horizon. Honor and integrity are your unwavering guides. Maintain these values in every action you take, as they are the core of your dignity and self-esteem. You are a being of courage, authenticity and self-respect. Approach each day not as a series of obstacles, but as an exciting journey toward personal growth and inner strength. Your path is illuminated with the light of your own being, shining with the promise of a future full of possibility and fulfillment. Thank you for watching the video and exploring together a small sample of the fascinating tapestry of life in the universe. If you would like to continue exploring this exciting topic and receive more information, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you will have access to exclusive content, exciting discoveries, captivating stories and ever-expanding knowledge about extraterrestrial life. In addition, we want to excite you with the recommendation of the main channels that are our source of inspiration to bring you information about these fascinating extraterrestrial beings. We encourage you to explore the official channels of Swaru Official, Arianizal, Cosmic Agency and Despajando Enigmas. These channels offer you valuable perspectives and a wide range of information about extraterrestrial life. Immerse yourself in their contents and let yourself be carried away by the amazement of discovering more about the universe that surrounds us. Join us in this exciting learning journey. Let's continue to explore together the limits of our knowledge and embrace the diversity and wonders that await us beyond the stars. Don't miss our next adventure, subscribe now to join this amazing community of universe explorers. See you next time.